Hi friends, I am Dr. Karamat. This is Scientific Doctor channel. I know no, I have not been no, regularly uploading videos on YouTube almost close to or even more than a year. Due to personal and professional commitments and the lack of lethargy, you know, after uploading hundreds of videos in YouTube, sometime you get lethargy. But anyhow, I am now back with a renewed vigor to solve your queries. Now we are going to post probably one video per month. Okay something about a detailed medical explanation okay today's video is about a very 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 common drug paracetamol or acetaminophen in fact this is one of the most common you no know, over the counter prescribed drug meaning without prescription you can get this drug and it is a very commonly used drug for fever and reducing as a mild analgesic for reducing pain what is paracetamol it is para-acetylaminophenol or N-acetylaminophenol acetaminophen as it is called in US, Canada, Japan and South Korea or paracetamol as it is called elsewhere. This was in fact discovered in you know, mid 18th century, 1850s and 60s but became popular in 1950s and 60s as an antipyretic fever reducing agent. So, why do we need so much information about paracetamol? Now it is most widely used, it is available over the counter, then why should you know? We should also know that this is the most common cause of acute liver failure, especially in the western world. At least in the developing countries, there are more infections which are causing more liver failures. But in developed world, paracetamol overdosage, paracetamol poisoning is the number one cause of acute liver failure. By then, the liver transplantation rates are also due to paracetamol overdosage. So, should you not know about this so called innocuous drug, but which causes so much problems? So, why do we use, if it is so serious, why should you use it? In proper doses, with caution, it is an extremely good, reliable, safe agent to reduce fever. Though there are other drugs like ibuprofen or brufen which are more effective in reducing fever this paracetamol now you might know due to its brand names you know, panadol tylenol crocin calpol fepanil metacin you no know, dolo you name it you have so many brands so this paracetamol even though it is not as effective as that ibuprofen group of group of drugs those are called NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. This has lesser side effects than NSAIDs. For example, brufen can have gastrointestinal bleeding as a side effect. Especially in countries like India, in tropical countries where dengue-like infections are common, gastrointestinal bleeding is a complication of dengue. This ibuprofen can also cause dengue. And there are other problems like you no know, renal damage due to ibuprofen overdosage. So, paracetamol is a safer alternative. I said paracetamol is less effective than ibuprofen. So, if there is a more effective drug, will it not be you no know, beneficial? Think, okay, I invent a new drug, karamacetamol, all we will call it as like paracetamol, karacetamol, okay. Will this be very effective? Oh, yeah. Once you take this medicine one dose for 15 days, the temperature will be lower. Okay, The fever will not be shown for 15 days. Is it a good drug? No, it's a very bad drug. Millions and millions of people will die because of this new drug. Why? Because fever isn't like an alarm clock. It's, a, it's like an alarm. It's like a wake up alarm for some disease inside. So, if there is no alarm, then it is a problem. Okay. If fever is an alarm, what is paracetamol? Paracetamol is the snooze button. So, as you have the snooze no, button on your phones for your mobile alarms, this paracetamol is exactly that. Now, it just reduces fever for a shorter duration. It gives comfort. Even if it is not reducing fever completely, it gives just comfort. That is what is needed at that time. Okay. Immediately, you may you know, go to the doctor to seek why is there fever or your body may fight out the disease so that the fever goes off. For during that time, the snooze is enough. 
if in spite of paracetamol the fever is returning probably the disease is saying no i am more sinister go to the doctor immediately so in a way paracetamol having a shorter duration of action and a milder uh, no action is better in some ways many people have this notion that high grade fevers require higher dose of paracetamol and low grade fevers require low dose of paracetamol generally drugs scientific drugs barring few have no high dose low dose concept what is prevalent is correct dose wrong dose concept if you give it at a very wrong dose very low dose probably it might not act if you give it a higher dose as i said already it will lead to liver failure so the correct dose is important even if the fever is high or low if you think the fever is very low doesn't require drugs you need not take paracetamol that is different but if you are taking paracetamol take it at the correct dose as we have seen regarding dose what is the correct dose it can range from 10 to 20 mg per kg per dose meaning a 10 kg child will require somewhere between 100 to 200 mg per dose 6 hours once so once in 6 hours you need to give whenever it is said doctors will say 4 to 6 hours once but the problem with this say i am comfortable with saying 6 hours once because if you say 4 to 6 hours once you have to understand the caveat that even if you take it once in 4 hours the total doses in 24 hour period should not be more than 4 24 divided by 4 is 6 hours so that means if one dose is taken at 4 hours but the next doses should be prolonged so that the maximum doses is four doses within a day so that's why it is better to take once in 6 hours okay the fever is not coming down what can i do as i said already if the fever is not coming down if there are weird symptoms if there are new symptoms you need to seek the doctor's attention immediately that's what the fever is saying okay it doesn't mean i am taking paracetamol it is reducing the fever so i need not visit the doctor so beyond one or two days if the fever is continuing or on day one itself there are weird symptoms there are unusual symptoms then you need to consult the doctor to understand what is causing this fever and to address the cause of fever as great tamil poet and uh, no scholar thiruvalluvar told 2000 years ago that it is it is imperative to understand the disease to know the disease to know the cause of the disease and to correct the cause of the disease is the right act a doctor should do to know the disease to know the cause of the disease and to correct the cause of the disease thereby correcting so once the fever is not being controlled by paracetamol or if, even if it is controlled it is extending beyond one or two days or if there are bad signs you need to visit the doctor to ascertain why is there fever okay now we have known the dose of paracetamol no why do we have different strengths you have drops you have syrups even in syrups you have 120 mg you have 250 mg some of the countries have 156.5 mg you have tablets ranging from 250 325 500 650 so why are there so many strengths so it is for different age groups and different weight groups some of the countries have a single weight band of 156.5 and the same thing is used across the you no know, ages like 2.5 ml for very young children ranging to 15 ml for older children in countries like india especially where the default norm the mindset is to give 1 teaspoon or 5 ml of anything which is available so if you have a very young child and a 250 mg 250 mg syrup meaning 5 ml contains 250 mg for a 8 kg child will be double the dose and it will ultimately result in overdose so it is sometimes better to have different strengths but do not have them in your house in your house you should have a very clear whichever weight band whichever age your child falls into you should only have that strength of paracetamol for example less than 1 year old probably will have 100 mg drops 1 ml containing 100 mg an 8 to 16 kg can have 2 uh, 120 mg syrup and probably 15 16 kg to 25 30 kg can have 250 mg syrup and beyond 25 kg you can have either 500 mg tablets 
and beyond 45 to 50 kg you can have 650 mg tablets. So these different strengths are there for different age groups and especially different weight bands. So we have seen about paracetamol, you said liver failure is the you know, most dangerous side effect that is what is mentioned in the prescription pack also. How am I, how can I avoid you know, this side effect? Simply understand the dosages, keep the paracetamol in the appropriate strength, use it in an appropriate way that is if your child has a simple cold or cough or a mild fever without any serious other you know, symptoms then you can start paracetamol in the dose which was mentioned for the child with the previous prescription and you can give once in 6 hours for 1 or 2 days and then if it is not subsiding or if there are bad signs present even before that you need to visit the doctor to ascertain the cause. By doing, by giving paracetamol in an appropriate dose, we are just comforting the child as well as the in adults, it can be used for adults also and even as a analgesic, a mild analgesic it can be used but it should not be abused in an abnormal way. Also understand that many of the cold cough OTC preparations may also contain paracetamol. So if you are giving paracetamol as a standalone medicine and for cold you are giving a paracetamol containing medications, these two together will cause definitely overdosage. So this is a short notes on paracetamol, no, as we you know, study during our school days, you know, we write short notes on many things, this is a short, short notes on paracetamol. If you have any queries kindly post it in the comment section. If you want any similar videos, no content for similar videos, kindly also mention that in the comment section. I will try to see you in a month.